want to first thank you for clicking on this video and I thank you for listening to what I have to say about this. If you're new here, uh, I am Michelle Patterson. I'm a spiritual practitioner. My whole thing is looking at spiritual wellness and working with angelic energies. If you're into that, great. If not, still stick around and listen to what I got to say about this. We are seeing right out in our faces more and more of what's wrong with humanity, our approach to things, the duality consciousness playing right out before us. And some describe this as a battle between light and dark, but then the way our human brains work, we say, well, what defines light and dark? Like who's right or wrong? And I felt compelled to sit down and, and to turn on the camera because it's not just things like the conflict happening with Israelis and Palestinians, which goes way, way back. Lots to learn about that and to understand about that. And then along with that, there's this extra layer of uh, sort of, you know, shaming the rest of the world because now you're paying attention. Well, we've always paid attention. We've, we've known as best as we were told. Things are a little different now. We have social media and we can hear from people who are actually there. So now our way of receiving information is quite different. We can reach one another a little bit better. The things that I'm seeing, that's just one example. What's going on in the Middle East? Another example would be, why are these unhinged people um, doing tragic things here in the United States? What is happening with people? When did it suddenly become a thing to just terrorize one another? And if you look at the whole world, there are examples of that. Some bigger examples than others all over the place. What's the simple commonality? It's fear. To a lesser degree, there are Lots of narratives out there where, for example, here in the United States, I'm sure this is happening around the world. Please use this as an opportunity to open up a discussion about what's happening in your part of the world. Um, but like finances. I cannot tell you how many people come to me and say, I don't know what I'm going to do. And this isn't like I'm fearful of losing my fancy car. <laughs> it's not that. This is very real fear of I don't know if I can feed my children. I don't know if we're going to be okay. And we have been so trained to, you know, go to college to, or get a trade or, you know, define yourself in some way. And then people go out and they're trying to define themselves in that way, thinking that there was some promise of being okay. And they're not. And so we have this whole financial, you know, thing going on right now that is putting people in more fear more fear of being all right. And then hearing about threats, wondering if anybody is okay. Of course, egos cracking in their duality and um, making choices on behalf of all of us without our permission. And that's not just us. That's everybody in the middle of any conflict. Any conflict or any situation that's going on in the world, there are innocent people on both sides. And that's where my heart goes. It goes to the innocent people. But we have these brains, don't we? These human brains. Oh, you got to love it. Okay. <laughs> these egos that get out there and even in the harshest, harshest circumstances have to make things logistical, to explain it away. It's right or wrong, it's black or white. It's my way or the highway, you're either with me or against me. If you don't see what's playing out right now, then we're gonna be in trouble here. So let's talk about the spiritual wellness part of it. I'm not saying, and I know there are lots of practitioners out there that say, Stay positive. Well, that's kind of dumb. Okay. Like that, that, no, no, you're not. You can't watch the horrors that I wish I could unsee. If I'm going to talk about it, I need to know what I'm talking about. 
those will mark me forever. And that actually happened to someone. Many someones. You can't look at that and then say, oh, we're just going to stay positive about it. That's not going to do anything because it's fake. Hi, welcome to my channel. It's fake. And as I've said before, many times, you can't fool the universe. The universe knows when you're not being authentic. And if I had to guess, I would imagine it's like reading sort of dead air, <laughs> dead energy. Like you can say it, but you're screaming into a void. And so it's ineffective. So how do we become more effective? When I say it has to start from love, what did you just do? Did you roll your eyes? Oh my gosh, you know, like this is the dumbest thing I ever heard. I know because a lot of people say that and it is the dumbest thing we've ever heard. <laughs> but, but if we can genuinely, genuinely first tap into innocence. Okay. Who are the innocent people involved in this? Now, Probably as humans, we're going to go right to pity. If you feel that, okay, feel your feels, all right? But recover from that quick because we need you. We need you to be on board here. We're often talking about sending love because often we're so helpless or feel like, you know, what can we do, right? Like what can we physically do that we will go to, you know, as people love to make fun of, um, love and light, you know, you're in my prayers, all of that. We're not talking about lip service here. We're talking about saying, okay, something's got to be done here. I'm saying those words for very good reason. Something needs to be done here. Have you ever gotten to a place in your life where you're like, okay, I'm just going to remain positive. I'm just going to remain positive and you get hit from another direction. Okay, I'm just going to remain and then you get hit again and again and again and again until you finally get fed up and you say no more. You're not going to hear this anywhere else most likely, but it's time for us to be fed up. It's the only thing that's going to break us open and realize what we really want. And what we really want, it's what everybody wants, I think. <laughs> Unless you're just a dark, dark entity floating around posing as human. Don't you want peace? Don't you want to feel loved and accepted? Instead of seeing people's differences as a threat, we see them as another beautiful expression of being a human. Oh, but this is, this is just detracting from the real thing because we got to get back into the ego part of it. We have to get back into the fight. We have to get back into the politics and back into all the strategies. Everyone has their place. And the people who are out there yelling on social media, how horrible, how horrible. Yeah, well, thanks, Captain Obvious. It, it is horrible. We know that. And wagging their finger at everybody else and saying, see, we told you, we told you this was going on. That's going to happen. We need to transcend that. Like I said, everybody has their place. So there are people out there who have to maybe get the message to some people who literally don't care about anybody else. But I don't think they're going to care. Even if they see that, they're not going to care. It's not in their nature to care about anybody but themselves. But then there's the rest of us and we're way mightier <laughs> than anybody else. Because when you don't, when you're not coming from love, when you're not tapped into that, you are weak. You are weak. The ego is transient. It's only as good as your timeline here. And then from there, it sort of evaporates. And then you have your higher consciousness. And that's what carries on, right? What do we need to be doing practically? What do we need to be doing? There are going to be days that you're just going to be really irritated with someone. Just in your individual life. Someone is acting disrespectfully. They let you down. Maybe they're lying to your face. Stabbing you in the back. 
don't be fake about how you feel. There's a reason why I'm saying this. You might say, what does this got to do with it? Hang with me here. When we start with what we are mundane, right? What we're used to. You could say, no, I'm angry about that. It hurts. It's a betrayal. Or whatever the situation may be. And then from there, practice your rebounding. This isn't quickly getting over or just saying you're over it. Or, you know, God forbid, just stuffing it away somewhere in the back of your mind so that it festers. And then later on, you're like having to go through 10 years of therapy to get through it. How many of us have been there, right? It's not that. It's looking at it, allowing yourself to feel what you got to feel. And then saying, okay, now I'm going to focus on something more important. I'm not going to change that person. I can't save that person. Some people are operating from a very different energy than others. And that's okay. I mean, it's got to be okay. We got to deal with them, right? So what is your rebound time? You will hear me say that all the time. What is your rebound time? It's not hurry up and get over it. It's not hurry up and pretend like it never happened, but a genuine deep processing that gets you past it and focused on to other things. Okay. So number one, be authentic in your feelings. Feel what you're feeling. If you do feel pity when you see and hear stories, these horrible, horrible stories, or if you are in the military or your family member, you know what I mean, is in the military, like... I understand it's, this is, this is a rough time right now, but we, in our energy, we can make a change. We can, yes, we can, we can, it's worked so far, it's worked so far, but we have to start with strengthening what's happening for us in our day to day. Now, unfortunately, some people get kind of caught in that ego thing and you know, that they don't go beyond that. But pretty soon when you're seeing all of these things out in the world, there's this little thing called empathy. And empathy doesn't just come from having experienced what someone else has experienced and being a kind, caring person and saying, oh, I I feel where you're coming from. There's this other layer of empathy. It's a humanitarian act. I don't know what exactly some of these people are going through. I I wasn't born there. I wasn't raised there. My family doesn't come from there. But human to human, I get that. There's going to be so much being thrown up on our faces. And yes, people like to talk about it's a great distraction. It, that's not wrong. It's not it is a distraction. Uh, but mostly all of this is meant to squash the soul light. That's the best way I can put it. Okay. <laughs> Might not be the most eloquent, but I, I think it works. I don't know. To squash the soul light so that you are empty. And where there is a vacancy, that darkness will take up residency, animate the person. And now they don't care about anybody but themselves. Now they find it quite natural to dehumanize someone so that they can completely annihilate them. The example I gave before is about practicing handling your stuff, recognizing your emotions, not being in denial about your emotions, practice living in your life so that we can be fortified when stuff is really going down and guys we still have a whole year left of the destruction phase go back and watch my video the 2020 to 2024 video is the future assured are we really heading towards world war three we don't have to we don't have to when people get fed up they break open right we give up. I just had this conversation with somebody like, you know, sometimes we push and push and push or we put our ideology out there and say, this is it. Why can't you see my way of things? Right. But when we get fed up and that falls apart, there's a freedom in that. And if you're coming from a good place, that's where we finally shut up enough 
impart our ego that way some of the divine can start working through us again so that we can start saying oh whoa I'm not going to get caught up in the argument I'm going to put some good energy out there and some loving words or however you want to do this for most of us a lot of these conflicts are happening on the other side of the world so you know can't literally go up and scoop somebody out and say okay let's let's get you to safety we do what we can with what we have right that's where we need to be sending that good energy out there not in a fake way I hope I don't know that I'm doing well enough a job of articulating this I just turned the camera on so this is a little sloppy I do apologize but we're going to see things manifesting for us as individuals out in the world and we have to get good at saying that's the duality consciousness brain telling me it's this or that and nothing in between tell me that one side has to win and someone else has to lose well that that's dumb okay that has not worked okay <laughs> that has not worked if if the duality right wrong thing worked we'd have no conflict in the middle east right everyone would just love each other peace love harmony happiness It'd be great right <laughs> but that's not how it works okay there's a lot going on here i could talk on this for forever but watch what you're allowing into you and that doesn't mean avoiding listening to other people's stories again you do not want to watch the videos that, that i'm behind like make sure you don't watch them i watch them for you trust me you don't need it you don't need it but just know that you're being called to action right now and if we're being dramatic and and calling us spiritual warriors i don't hate it i don't hate it i kind of like it i'm not gonna lie <laughs> like it a little bit this is uh archangel michael time and gabriel and Raphael. you know there is spiritual help here for us but if you're not taking care of your stuff and then this stuff is coming in guess what's going to happen war it's already what's happening for a lot of people around the world the ones who think it's okay to do to other humans what they've done we have to be mindful I'm watching the spiritual self. You might ask, well, how do we how do we do that? How do we do that? You gotta have capacity. You gotta have capacity. And when you don't have capacity to hear another story or to put up with one more injustice or um, what have you, then you need to separate from that ego self from all the problems of the day and recharge yourself rejuvenate yourself and when you do that especially if you want to work with angels this is a great way to do this your perspective changes and it's it's like the stuff that had just kind of went by you before nothing gets lost on you <laughs> right and now you see through the surface and that's really what we're getting at here. We need to see through the surface level story, not in a conspiracy theory kind of way. Love to you all. Okay. Like, listen, hey, yo, but like we, we need to see through the surface narrative to see what authentically is there. And you don't see with your eyes. You don't see even with your third eye. Oh, what? She said, what now? You see with your heart, your heart will tell you what's up. Okay. Let me know your questions. A lot of times I do these videos just to kind of, you know, get the conversation going. I can make another video later on, but we'll leave it there for now. I love you all. Be handling your stuff and learning from it so that we can help out in a bigger way. Take care.